We do Chinese man 2021 as an interior designer, a Messi Ayo Bender, and Almaco Walker. So we st I started working with him from Asokoro, Asokoro, from Asokoro to Kano. Although the way he treated us was very rough and sometimes treated us like a slave, but we had no choice because there was no work. There's no work, you know. That is the only place I, I feel that I have, I can make uh, like enough of money, enough money, something like that, because most places I do some CV that are material designer, they, don't, they, do they didn't take me for work. So I was working with this man from, I worked I work with this man from Kanu to Lagos, then work with him in Lagos, in Lagos to Ogun State, then to Abuja. So um, on July, on, on August, 2nd August, he asked, when we asked him to pay us our salary for July. So when we asked him to pay us, although he, do delay, he did delay salary, so like, that's how he normally do. Uh, do. He, do the, he did delay salary. So when we asked him to pay us our salary, we, all the staff asked him to pay us our salary. So he said that if he, if he do not pay us our salary, are we not going to work? Are we not going to work? Then I'm not asking that if a Nigerian man should try this in your country, they, they will behead him. Then he now reply me and say, do I want to behead him? I say, no, it's not like that. Then he left me. He left us and went to work. Then after everything, he came back and, and, to, and, and asked me and my younger brother to leave the work. So when we left, we left the, the, the PA, or name Adi, Adi sent us 100K and all that. So when I was home, nothing like, nothing, nothing, after no harsh rent, nothing, nothing. So I started thinking, having some kind of negative thoughts. Sometimes I submit CV in security organizations, some construction company, but no one comes to come for anything. So I was just thinking negative, I was just having that kind of negative thoughts. Sometimes I would be thinking, let me just go out. Hang myself because I have a I have a wife who is pregnant for me now. She's even pregnant for me now. So sometimes I'll be thinking, let me just go and hang myself and forget about this life. Sometimes I'll just be thinking, let me go do rituals and all those kind of stuff. So I just instead of me to do that, it's better I just go make this Chinese pay. Because this is my country and a Chinese man came to my country, told me to slave and all this kind. So so I just have that thought and started searching for some bad guys in massacre. So I met with this guy, Kapali, then introduced, he, he introduced me to JVC and Yaro. But the, Yaro didn't go along with us because he said that he was having that kind of, that we wouldn't succeed that, that operation. So the JVC came with two guns. One was working, two Oka made, uh, one, um, two was, one was working, while the other one wasn't working. So we went there. We, uh, that was 25th. 25th August, we went there 25th August to the man's house in area 2, in Kazari Street area 2. So when we went there around 7 o'clock, 7 p.m., we were there, the man wasn't home because we, we, we discovered there was, there was no car uh, in the house. So we waited for him till, till 1 o'clock, till 1 o'clock. But before that, we... Before that, I, I jumped through the barbed wire. I jumped through barbed wire to his, uh, to his yard. Then open, I bust the security door with my, with my blow. Then I'm pointing the, the pistol that wasn't working. So that he should open his door. Then when, it's, when he opened his door, I told him to open the gate for the remaining guys, the two guys to enter. So he opened the door and those two niggas enter, enter, enter the compound. So we were there waiting for him. Why? When we when we discovered there were two guys inside the BQ, so we went there. We went there to. So when I went there, I discovered it was my friend, my one of our staff called Ayola. So I pointed the the, the gun. The lo, local me, I pointed him. I pointed him. So this is Zakaria. This is Zakaria. Then I I weep because he was very nice to me then. Since Zakaria why now? Then I started crying, telling him that. You know what your boss did to me? What did I do that your boss drove me out of all, of all this suffering? I've been, su I've been suffering for him. He drove me out of So now I've lost everything. I don't have no husband, no food, nothing, nothing. And you know, my, my wife is pregnant. He say yes. I said I won't do anything but just cooperate. So he stay calm.
she had noticed that the man just drove in. So when the man drove in, when the man drove in, I asked the two guys, the Kapali and the JVC, to go to go and meet him. So when they went there, when they went there, they were like, boss, I your side, boss, I your side now, how you did? So the man was shocked and was surprised. Although he was very he was drunk and was acting somehow, who are you? All this kind of stuff. So so the JVC was like, master, and me, and me, all this kind of stuff. Then I, I just, I just pissed off, like, I, because what, what Kapali was doing is like, he's just pampering the man. So I just, so that was, that was how I went there. That was how I went there. When I went to the, went to the man's car, I started pushing the man. So he started calling my name, Zaka, Zaka. I said, he shouldn't come, and if he come, and I'll do something. So I started pushing and asked him to transfer money to the Kapali. But me, I want to take his, uh, that is uh, green card, everything that belongs to him, because I know he has his two phone, green card, eighteen and everything, and token. So I want to take all those things. So the man, after all those things, I was pushing him and was trying, when he was trying to, like, then he ran away. Then the Kapali, Kapali followed him. Then JVC following while I was standing at that place, thinking maybe they will catch him and bring him. So I was standing there, and then I discovered JVC and Kapali started running towards area one, from area two to area one, before the before police caught. Uh,